In this episode of Tales from Retail, we're reading three stories. The day my friend lost all faith in humanity, customer is as standard to be honest, and finally, rude lady told another customer to buy her stuff faster because she was late to pick up her kids. If this is your first time, my name is Spicy and I cover the craziest and the funniest retail stories. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe. If you like retail stories, check out my playlist in the description. Congratulations Shiba Kobe for the comment of the day. Now let's find some more Karens. The day my friend lost all faith in humanity. This is a story told to me by a good friend of mine that, as the title states, made him lose all faith in humanity. My friend worked at a national big box store that also sells grocery. As it happens, he was working in the produce section with a co-worker. The produce section is next to the freezer aisle at this particular store. My friend happens to look up and sees this older woman reach out to grab the freezer door handle. The woman stands frozen with her arm outstretched and then suddenly just falls backwards. She was having a heart attack. My friend and his co-worker run over to the woman to help her. There wasn't much they could do except hold her hand and keep her safe. They were able to get management and an ambulance was called for her. My friend said the woman was laying on the floor and him and the co-worker were trying their best to comfort her. Even though she was in and out of consciousness and not coherent when she was conscious. Now, the managers had stationed some employees at the end of each aisle to prevent customers from coming down while they waited for the ambulance. However, some customers didn't think that applied to them and the store employees could not physically stop them from entering the aisle. My friend said this customer came down the aisle and while he and his co-worker were still on the floor with the woman, the customer steps over this 89-year-old woman who is dying from a heart attack. The customer continued to straddle the dying woman while she grabbed a container of Cool Whip out of the freezer beside them. The customer then puts the Cool Whip in her cart and walks away. My friend and the co-worker just look at each other and said, what the hell? The woman ended up dying in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. My friend knew her age because he read her obituary in the paper soon after. I asked my friend what management did when that happened. He said they didn't do anything. Honestly, I am pretty disappointed that the management didn't do anything after this incident. First off, these two employees, they need therapy. They need, they need therapy after, after seeing a woman dying in front of them and assisting a woman while she was dying of a heart attack. Um, you can just be there and then continue with your life. You can and you could. But technically, you do need therapy. You need to think about what you saw and what you experienced. It is a unique experience and it can be traumatizing for some people. But what is wrong with this woman, with this customer? She is definitely a level 80 Karen. She doesn't care about the rules. She doesn't respect the woman. She, she just went there and get her whipped cream and then left, stepping over the dead, not the dead woman, but the dying woman. This is just a plain and simple lack of respect for not only the authority, but the space of older people. And that sucks and you should be ashamed. Let's get to the next story. Customer is a standard. To be honest. Hi there, I don't want to give too much away, but I work as a till operator in a large retail chain in the UK. I will try and keep this post as short as possible, but this happened to me today. I was about 30 minutes into my shift and had just got into a till as we were not busy, so they did not need me at the time. Per company regulations, I have to conduct a safety check and ensure all my equipment is ready before use to help ease customer congestion in case my tail breaks, which they often do anyway. This usually takes a maximum of 5 to 10 minutes. While conducting this check, I had opened my tail's gate to show customers I was getting ready to serve them, and most of the time they understand and wait. However, today, this customer did not. This customer said some very offensive things about my personal appearance, which is a reason why she was later kicked out of the store. I am not in a position where I am willing to share what she said. <clears throat> Excuse me? Are you gonna stand there and serve me, you idiot? I'm sorry madam, but I have to carry out this check. Give me a few minutes and I will be right with you. 
That's not good enough. I need you to serve me now. I am in a rush. Ma'am, if I serve you, neither the card machine or my cash register will be ready. Yes, it will. Sorry, but you don't work here. You don't know what these tails are like. Our tails are oldish and can take a while to load all systems. I don't care. Serve me now. Okay, your wish is my command. I scanned all her items through which total at around 60 pounds or so. She says she wants to pay by card. Sorry, but the system is telling me the card machine is not working. This is why I need to do my checks. Oh my god, I am in a rush. Get your supervisor here right now. Okay ma'am, as per company regulations, I have to call a supervisor the moment they are mentioned. In my store, however, they always take the side of the employee. Always. Hey there, what can I do for you? Your employee here has been extremely sarcastic. I really was in some earlier comments and is refusing to let me pay. Is that true, OP? No sir, she interrupted me during my checks and demanded I serve her. I pre-warned her there may be problems, however, she did not mind and now my card machine is not working. I'm sorry ma'am, but OP still is not working. May I get you to move to another till? No, 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 this is not good enough. I want my items now. This hassle is causing me a lot of stress and I want my items either discounted or free of charge. As an FYI, my company is very generous when it comes to customer demands. However, this supervisor was hung over and could not give a care about the world. Ma'am, I don't like your tone. Come down and move to another till or I would have to get you to leave the store. I hate you. I will be writing to complain. Supervisor calls security at this point who escorted her out of the building, still waiting to hear if she has written to her head office to complain. I have many, many stories at this point and I've only been working in retail for 9 months. Oh Karen, Karen, Karen. You've been given a warning that the till will not work that the payment may fail, that we may not be able to scan the items, and yet, you wanna still take the risk. So if you take this risk, you understand that it will either succeed or fail. In this case, it fell. So can't you just take responsibility of the decision you took two minutes ago? I think you can do that. And you should, if you wanna feel or be happier in life, taking responsibility for your own decisions. I know this is not your mistake, this is not your responsibility to have the machines working, but you knew it could have a problem. You knew maybe they were not ready yet, and yet you decided to go anyway. You deserve it, you're a Karen, bye bye. Rude lady told another customer to buy her stuff faster because she was late to pick up her kids. I am going to apologize right now for grandma. I know it's not good, but it's not that serious. I work at a gigantic clothing store. Today, we were understaffed. There was only four people working in the gigantic store. There was their girl in the fitting room, a mask cover area. My manager who was running around doing a billion things, the stock girl dealing with the massive shipment we received today, and then there was me, the poor fool stuck at the cash register. And we're gonna call the 45 year old rude customer lady R. I was working the 10 to 2.30 shift and the reason we were on the staff is because the two people who were supposed to arrive at 12 both called out at the last minute. So business picked up at around noon and there was a constant line of people until I left. During this time, my manager would back me up if necessary, but she would take 3-5 to five minutes to get to me since she was doing so much. At around 2, the line had quickly stretched outside the little barrier area, so I called my manager for backup. I was currently helping someone with a return, and it was taking some time because I was searching in the computer to see if we had more available sizes so the lady could exchange instead of just return the clothes she bought. I am still helping the same lady when R walks up to us. Hey, is there anyone else that can help me? I need to pick up my kids from school and I'm late. Now, I am a very understanding person and I reassured her that someone was on their way to help. I am already late, can you get someone to help me? I already called my manager for help and she's on her way. Then the lady stomped back into the line. 
After another minute, my manager finally shows up. When I glance over to the line, I notice that R was not even next in line. She was fifth in line. Thankfully, the lady I was helping decided to go look around for more clothes to make an exchange. So I got to move on to other customers. I finally started ringing up the person in front of R. But that lady had a lot of items to return. I did the return at normal speed because I didn't want to come off rude to the customer I was with. I completed the lady's return of 11 items and thought she was done. Nope, she pulled out a shirt and a few bags of candy from her stroller and said, I want to get these too. So I happily said, alright, and rung her up. The lady that was making a purchase had her card in the machine when R comes up to the counter and slams her items on it. Hey, can you buy that faster? I need to pick up my kids and I am late. Now, I don't play with that attitude. If you're rude to me, that's fine because I'm getting paid. But I will not tolerate someone talking to another customer like that. So I said in the sternest voice I could, do not rush her. Please step back. R did not like that. She started huffing before she asked me, Who is the boss of this company? I want to complain right now. I have been waiting, waiting, I'm late. I saw the lady laugh a little when she pulled out her card. If she ever reads this, thank you for being such a good sport. I was a little taking aback because I could not believe she thought I knew the CEO of the entire company. I don't even know my own direct messages. Anyway, I was not going to have her just be rude to me without making her feel dumb. So I told her, I don't personally know the owner of the entire company, but if you'd like to wait for my manager to helping those customer, and I gestured to my manager who was a few registers away, you could talk to her about your complaints. Not knowing how to respond, or just make more huffing noises before saying, I want to speak to your manager. Of course, it had to happen. She's helping those customers right now, but you can wait until she's done and she'd be happy to help. Until then, I can ring you up. The older lady had left and I started ringing her up while I slowly ring her up. She is yelling at my manager things like, how come there's one here to help? You know you make me late and the line is a very long, why didn't you come to help? My manager is way too nice and was saying in the nicest tone, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but we're understaffed over and over until the lady shuts up. I had her pay and she did not even let the items drop into the bag before she reached over the counter to snatch it out of my hands. As she walked away, she literally screamed, I don't need my receipt, I am late picking up my kids. I have dealt with a lot of rude customers before, but this one takes home the gold for me. Here's a lesson, don't go shopping if you need to pick up your kids from school. It's called time management and it is a skill everyone should have by the time of the young age of 45. Did she just say time management? I love time management. As I said in a, uh, in a YouTube post lately, I, I'm working about 75 hours a week on this YouTube channel. So time management is pretty important to me because, you know, I still want to live life. So I have to handle through all of my other re responsibilities and handle this YouTube channel. And just for the YouTube channel, it takes me about 75 hours. So time management is one of the things that I love the most. And oh gosh, I think I'm writing about business. But um, yeah, Cameron, you're disgusting. Wh why are you that rude? To customers, to, to the cashier, what is wrong with you? But time management, oh damn, I love it. Hey, did you like this Tales from Retail video? If you did, check out my Retail Stories playlist right here. I bet you will love it. These videos take me a lot of effort to make, so if you can show me some support by liking the video and subscribing, this will mean the world to me. Also hit the bell button to know when we post a new video and join the notification gang. Thank you again for watching episode 11 of Tales from Retail. See ya!